Hi, Rob McIsaac here uh, on top of uh, the General uh, and I'm here today to learn more about our Regional Trauma Program. Hi, I'm Barb Clausen. I'm the uh, Hamilton Health Sciences Trauma Program Coordinator. So this, I guess, is the next stop. A uh, patient comes in either by land ambulance or uh, via the helicopter and uh, gets rushed to a room just like this. Yep, so our, for our region, we uh, look after Hamilton, Niagara, Haldeman, Brant. Uh, Waterloo, Wellington and Halton. So any significant injury within that region, within that re our referral region, comes to us. Trauma programs accept multi-system injuries and multi-system injuries are scored on the type of injury they have. So for our trauma registry, an injury severity score of greater than 12, which is multi-system, so it would be head and chest, it would be pelvis and, um, and leg or extremities. Uh, they, would, they would fit our criteria for data entry um, and for trauma team or program um, utilization. And that, like the patient will stay here until they're stable? Right. So normally, ideally, we want to, what we want to do is accomplish here is to make sure we outline the life-threatening injuries. That's right. really the role of being here. Uh, once we feel that we've stabilized the patient enough, then they go to one or two venues, either go directly to the, the scanner for further imaging so we can delineate some of the injuries that they right. have, or if they're too unstable to go to that environment, then often they will go directly to the operating room. I think that's the one thing that's very unique to trauma is uh, no matter how good of a detail you are and so forth, this is not something you can do in isolation. Yeah. You know, the survival and the good outcomes that we get as a level one trauma center across the country is based on having the resource and the collaboration between all the yeah. services from start to finish. So when you think about, um, you know, the patient's journey, going, getting stabilized, the ED, this is, this could be their next stop. Sure, if they go to the ICU first, they'll spend some time in the intensive care unit until they're less critical and they're off the ventilator, and then this is the trauma surgery ward that they would come to. And we have a team of experts here, and I'm not joking when I say that, because our physiotherapists and our occupational therapists have been here for a number of years. They're very experienced with the trauma patient because they're complicated. Mm -hmm. One thing that's really important with the trauma team is that often the patients have four or five different doctors involved, mm -hmm. and without these these guys coordinating, it's a disaster. Like it's a, it would be a disaster mm -hmm. um, because they all give us different orders, and it's these guys that pull it together and make the puzzle fit to get that make everything fit. Well, what a, what an interesting time I had visiting the trauma program. Uh, a really uh, highly skilled, talented group of people who are coming together to deal with very complex issues uh, that are presented and the patients that show up. I think uh, more than just uh, the skills and the talent of those people uh, is the incredible job uh, that they have all done in terms of coming together uh, and coordinati coordinating their actions in a way that uh, uh, allows us to deal with these uh, very sick people uh, and uh, come up with good outcomes. So. Uh, my thanks to the trauma team for hosting me uh, and thanks as always to all of you for watching.